To form a valid contract, one party must make an offer, the other party must accept that offer, and each party must give the other valuable consideration. In Berge v. HSBC Bank, the Ohio Court of Appeals considered whether a party could accept an offer to purchase a house via email when the terms of the offer required a written acceptance. In June of 2008, Richard Berge, through his real estate agent, made an offer to purchase property in Akron, Ohio, from HSBC Bank. To this end, Berge submitted a proposed purchase agreement to HSBC's real estate agent, Tracy Jones. In the agreement was a provision that stated, upon written acceptance, this offer will become a binding agreement. Jones received multiple offers on the property and emailed all potential buyers, asking them to submit their highest and best offers. Berge then responded to Jones's email and made an all-cash offer for $55,101. At the same time, John and Susan Randolph submitted an offer for $56,000 that was contingent upon financing. Finding Berge's offer to be the best, HSBC instructed Jones to accept it. Jones then sent an email to Berge's real estate agent to inform him that Berge's offer had been accepted and that she would send addenda and instructions. Shortly afterward, the Randolphs contacted Jones to remove the contingency from their offer to make it an all-cash offer. HSBC then instructed Jones to accept the Randolphs' offer instead. Jones then told Berge's agent that she'd jumped the gun when she sent the email and that another offer had been accepted. Ultimately, HSBC completed the sale to the Randolphs. Subsequently, Berge sued HSBC and Jones in the Court of Common Pleas for breach of contract and interference with contract, seeking damages, injunctive relief, and specific performance. While the action was pending, Berge purchased the property from the Randolphs. Following discovery, HSBC and Jones moved for summary judgment, arguing that because the parties didn't enter into a written purchase agreement, no contract was formed. The court agreed and granted the motions, concluding that because HSBC didn't accept Berge's offer in writing, the parties never formed a valid contract. Berge appealed to the Ohio Court of Appeals.